Hello everyone. Uh, we've just finished the uh, silly season. Now it's time to get back to the serious business of uh, having fun making pots. I'm going to do a plate today. And I've got it on a bat here. It's uh, on a bed of clay. And one thing you have to remember when you're centering on a bat that's just stuck on with a uh, layer of clay is that if you try and centre from the side like I normally do, you end up shoving the bat off. So you have to make a downward pressure as your, prior, your, your primary forces, form of centering. Otherwise, you end up shoving it off the wheel head. It's only going to be a smallish plate as a demonstration. So, uh, so. Well, that's ready. Press it down in the centre. We'll start off with just a basic, very low flat cylinder. Press the centre properly, otherwise you end up doing an S-shaped crack in it. You end up with an S-shaped crack in the base once it's dry. It usually means that um, you've not compressed the base enough. So just use a rib to press this down. This should do it. And it's just simply the edge is just simply a. Low flat cylinder. I'm trying to leave this lip fairly thick because as you pull it out, it gets thinner. So if you go to the required thickness now, when you pull it out into the rim, it gets really thin and tends to flop. So if it looks a little bit too thick now, it's usually just right. <laughs> what I am going to do is I'm not going to. I'm not going to actually trim a foot ring in this because it's only a small plate. So I shall finish off the base as, as close as I can, 95% now, by just undercutting it. And that way we just have to wipe it with a sponge after we've done it's leather hard. Okay. Hold hands. Right. And just pull it out. Slow the wheel head down because obviously the wider the diameter of the pot, the slower the wheel head has to be. And we'll just pull this out. Simply pull it out, supporting the underneath of the rim with a sponge. I'll try and use a sponge, it's a lot more forgiving than I'm trying to get your fingers underneath. Now I'm going to do some um, lettering on this rim, so I need it quite flat, makes life easier. So same again, support it with a sponge underneath, and press with the rim, press with the uh, rib I should say, that gives me a nice flat rim there. What I normally do, a decorative plate is pull a spiral out like that and if you can see it to give it a bit of decoration but what I'm going to add to this is I'm going to add some more slip decoration on here so I need a flat surface so we'll just take those ridges out again easily done Up a bit, a little bit now. It's going to be a bit too flat. There we go. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some slip on here now. It's a red earthenware slip. Normally I'll put a, a white slip made of the original body and just put some oxides in, but this is for demonstration purposes so it shows up better on film. So this is just a layer of red earthenware and it's got um, a little bit of iron oxide in it. That's it.